Hi, this is Moser with more helpful hints on number five in the 3E book problems. We've got a football being thrown downfield 31.5 meters. It's thrown at an initial angle of 40 degrees. And what we want to know is the initial speed that the quarterback has to throw the ball for it to reach the receiver, as well as its highest point during flight. Now this is actually a lot like the last couple problems we've done. It's, it's very similar to number two, where you have to create an expression for vi. So let's go ahead and list our variables. Okay, having listed our variables, we've got the same sort of usual suspects. We've got our expressions for vix and viy. We're given delta x. Delta y overall is zero, and that's going to become important. We know there's no acceleration on the x-axis, though there is on the y, and that allows us to create an expression for delta t, which will allow us to join the axes. If you write that same basic equation that we used to get the expression for time on the x-axis, we can sub in our expression for time, joining the axes, and then we can solve for vi. That's an easy peasy way to get your initial velocity. To get max height, of course, you'll have to consider the ball's motion on the y-axis only, given viy, vfy, acceleration on the y, and delta y. So using those four variables, you can do it all on one axis, and that will give you your maximum displacement on the y. That's it. Have fun.